Okay, let the fun begin here. So taking a look at your coaxial cable, you'll notice that there is uh, several layers of it. You have the uh, sheath on the outside, which is the black plastic stuff. A little further in, you'll see there are some aluminum wires. That is the, the braiding or bonding, I guess. Inside of that's the white stuff, the foam, dielectric, and then, uh, of course, your center copper conductor. So when we're done stripping this thing, ultimately what we want is a quarter inch of clear copper conductor sticking out and a quarter inch of the dielectric foam. In this particular case, you'll notice the dielectric has aluminum on it. Just the better cables have better shielding. So uh, first things first, we're going to take our uh, tool and go to the RG6, RG59 side. Insert the cable with the arrows until it is flush with the end of the tool. And we can go ahead and wrap this around three or four times. We're just going to pull that out. Leaves us with about a quarter inch of copper and then a quarter inch of uh, dielectric foil and this wire. So what we want to do here in this case is we're just going to peel all this wire back. It doesn't really matter how you lay it down, but as long as none of this aluminum bonding wire is touching the copper there, that will uh, certainly ground out your cable. So again, none of this little aluminum touching the copper. So just inspect that, and uh, next thing we'll do is insert the wire into the connector. Okay, you can see the end of the connector there. There is a smaller hole uh, inside of the connector itself. That's where the dielectric slips right into. So when you do this, you're going to kind of want to watch to make sure that you're not mashing the dielectric. And I'll show you that here. And start your connection. A lot of times I'll look in from the end, make sure that that dielectric is uh, lined up perfectly with that second hole. Now that's the tough part. Quad shield is going to be really difficult to push on. Cold cable sat out in the truck or car is going to be impossible. Uh, best thing to do is have some warm cable sitting in the sun or whatnot. Okay, so you just kind of keep twisting it on. And eventually uh, you'll get to a point where that dielectric will line up with the collar of your F connector. And that will result in a little bit of copper sticking out, you know, maybe an eighth inch. So you'll know when you're home there will be a little bit of copper sticking out. And if you look down inside there, that white dielectric matches up with the collar of this connector. Okay, now it's time to compress it. Again, we're just using this uh, economical compression tool. It has a die on this end, and then there's a collar on this end. So we're going to slip this cable into the die, make sure the center conductor goes into the center of the die, and then drop it down into the collar. So let me show you that again. We're going to slip the top half into the die, make sure the bottom part of the uh, connector is inside the collar, and compress it down and you can test to make sure take a look at that dielectric you got enough tag end laying out there uh, I'm gonna call this good go ahead and test it out on your system